Today we're opening a massive Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I was sent this massive box as you guys just saw in the intro and it was advertised as the deal of a lifetime. That's what he told me. He said, this is the deal of a lifetime. I'm gonna send you this collection. You're gonna open it up and then you pay me $200. If you guys know, we spend a lot more than $200 a lot. So this is a large box. I feel like we could potentially have the deal of a lifetime here. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Rage of Raw booster box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know if you think this box will actually be the deal of a lifetime. Will it be a good deal? Will it be a scam? Let's just say there's just a big pile of poop in there or something. I'm gonna open this box off camera because it's too large, but we're gonna do one by one on camera. That did not make sense, but whatever. All right, first off we have, oh, ho, 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 wrapping paper. Wait for it, wait for it more wrapping paper okay let's get into the real stuff what is this i feel like i should know what this is this is obviously from some sort of anime that i don't recognize all right cool we then have it looks like a lot of common so we are not going to be going through every single common because that would be crazy but let's see we have dawn of majesty we have a starter deck okay cool stuff here is something that looks like it has a note on it i hope you enjoy my small mysterious collection best wishes to you and your family so first of all we have what looks like a blazing vortex so we could pull that pot of prosperity that's pretty cool wait is it wait no this might be open wait what's in here all right we're about to find out this might be an open box or something uh oh packs yo are these sealed so if these are sealed this is cool definitely this is uh okay we have duelist pack you say two we have a pharaoh servant dragons of legend complete series we got a skill card from dual link or speed duel whatever it's called basically the same thing more you say that's actually pretty cool i've never opened that set except for in the every pack opening we have a stardust overdrive pack that's a really good one we have fist of the gadgets we have code of the duelist we have dawn of majesty uh legendary duel synchro storm king's court man this is actually a cool collection we got magic the gathering i don't think i've ever opened a magic pack complete series i really don't think i've opened one crow there we go simo we've got a, a dark crisis spell ruler and blue eyes white dragon nice little variety there we're already borderline kind of knocking it out of the park for 200 bucks so wait okay we have more stuff in here let's see if there's anything that's non-common okay this is a lot of pokemon cards turn away it's just pokemon this seems like it's going to be common cards we're just going to shuffle through these real quick to make sure so common cards and common cards see i don't really know anything that's going to be in here i think he told me a couple of things but i can't remember because it was a while back when he told me i think he's from canada okay i don't know what this is maybe this is what we saw earlier vanguard i've also never opened vanguard this is a starter deck for vanguard if i ever play that i mean we got some starter decks ready to go so that, maybe that's what that little character was from all right we have a what what is inside more cards okay this looks like it is not commons which is pretty exciting let's see what will be in this box okay black wing armor master we got the all right, this is Blackwing stuff, so that's cool. Legendary Six Samurai Fusion Destiny. That's a good card. Just got reprinted as an, only an ultimate, though, so not too bad. We got a Formula Synchro on Loki. This is some good stuff, okay? A lot of Synchro cards. A lot of Formula Synchrons, for sure. The Coral Dragon, cool. Blue Eye Spear Dragon. Brianak with the Clear Wing, the Black Rose. The Moonlight Dragons are actually pretty decent. And, okay, wow, this is a lot of cool stuff. This is definitely good, for sure. Another Moonlight, Berserker. We got Junk Gardener. We got Jet Warrior. Stardust Assault. Scrap Twin Dragon, Vulcan. Yeah, all kinds of good stuff in here. Shooting Star Dragon, Red Supernova Dragon. Where's that from? Oh, that's from a tin. I forgot there was a Nitro Warrior. Side Flame Lord Omega. The Vermilion Mac from Duel Links. There we go, Void Ogre. Okay, overall, a lot of cool synchro stuff in here. We have more decks. What will be inside this one? This one appears to be common. So, okay, except that was a blue eye, or not a blue eyes. Curse of Dragon, different card. Uh, some Pokemon. I don't know too much about these, just regular hollow, so I don't think they're going to be too, like, valuable or anything. These are from Celebration. So, yeah, these are not going to be too crazy, but they are cool. Oh, something that we really love. We have Legendary Collection, too. So, at this point, I think $200 is already the deal of a lifetime. Basically, I think he wanted to give us an awesome deal on this. That's what it seems like at this point, because he was like, I know this is more than $200. So, once again, this is from Tony. Tony, appreciate this deal of a lifetime. You guys know we love opening those Legendary Collections. This one has been open, though. So, we're going to be opening that other one at some point in a different video. This one has two booster boxes. What's inside? More packs? Okay, let's see. We have a Duelist Pack Crow. Whoa, more booster packs. 
All right. Oh, it looks like he had an entire box of crow at some point. That's actually really cool. So at the top, it's like a resealed box. It's like Pharaoh Servant. And then it's like, oh, never mind. Oh, Metal Raider's cool. And then a bunch of crow, which is actually, that'll be fun to open at some point, I think. The other side, it's the same. A couple Pharaoh Servant and then crow packs. That's really exciting, actually, to open those up. So these are not open yet, which is pretty exciting. I'm pretty sure that I've said exciting way too many times. Oh my goodness, legacy packs. What is wrong with you, Tony? This is the deal of a lifetime. Legitimately, this is awesome. This is a bunch of legacy LOB packs, Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos Speller. You know that I love these for sure. Those are definitely going to be open on a video. There's still a lot more to go. There's a bunch of commons, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'll go through these on my own time. We're not going to make you guys look at a bunch of comments. We have more Vanguard. So at this point, I'm like a Vanguard expert. I have four different decks that I can play. I don't know how if you need like three of them, like in Yu-Gi-Oh! Or I don't know how Vanguard works at all, to be honest. We have another deck box. This one has more foils inside. Oh, look! My old logo. If you guys are more of an OG fan than you remember when this was my profile picture for uh, my channel on YouTube. Ro oh, wow. Rod, Stratos. Oh, wow. That's some good cards right off the bat. Gladiator Beast is very cool. Slide for the Sky Dragon Secret Rare. I'd love to see that. Gladiator Beast. We got some Summon Skulls. These are not hollow, but they are Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, which is cool. The Ruby Carbuncle is cool. Rainbow Dark Dragon. A three Stratos. Okay, Elemental Hero Ocean. That's actually nice. The Jump Version Woodsman. Prod this card's actually pretty valuable, this Prodigy. I realized that because of Edison format. Necro Garden of Secret Rares are cool. And the Alias. Okay, yeah, this is already like... <laughs> insane this is already insane i don't even know i, I need to talk with him like bro why you only want 200 dollars for this because this is like a pretty cool collection okay uh dark magician cyberstein very cool lot of of just different versions of dark magician there's the ultimate rares which are really cool those are that's a first dead first dead and an unlimited we're struggling cyframe your gamma exodia floundaries and rabina Photon Orbital. We got Exodia in here. Pretty cool. We got the tokens, the left arm, the right leg, the right arm, all that stuff. And Battle Fader. Very nice. Um, I just found this. It was like in the middle. I think it fell off where it was supposed to be. There could be a ghost hiding in this collection. There's a ghost somewhere in here. We got to keep looking. Hopefully it's not in the comments because then we're just going to have to search for everything. Hopefully it's in one of these. Okay, this is more nice stuff. So a smiley face box all right jinzo layered blue eyes red eyes we've got the ready ready fusion that's a good card right geki allure of darkness Par parallel to i forgot about this this is a dual links card in some decks back in the day for totally forgot about that one that's cool pot of desires which is now at one for some reason uh okay super poly we've got brandon red Smashing ground. We got uh, cyber cyber load fusion. All right. Uh, me, 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 me. What else we got? Just a ton of epic stuff. Greater greater polymerization is funny. Mass change two. Ra oh, the Arkansas Razorbacks. There we go. Right before the tournament, we got Raigeki. Very nice. Speaking of the tournament, if you guys want to do a March Madness bracket, check out my bracket that I posted on the YouTube community tab. You guys can join there and uh, get in on the fun. It's gonna be fun. There's also a prize, a Yu-Gi-Oh prize, if you guys win. Okay, Synchro Blast. Forbidden Dress. So these are just some nice cards to have. There are common cards, but they're very nice. Okay, Allure of Darkness. That's cool. Put that up there. Pot of Duality. Another Allure of Darkness. Okay, pretty good. So, all right. So far, no ghosts. We're still looking. We ain't finding it. Let's see if we can find it in here. This looks like it might be commons. So this looks like Gladiator B stuff again. I can't shuffle through these. I got too many cards in my hand. Uh, there's the Kur the Karibos. The curry boat, the curry bot, the curry boot, the curry boo again. Okay. All right. It's just some of them. Never mind. And then we have some commons there. Those commons appear to be in nostalgic condition. What is this? All right. I've never seen this before, but this is in here. I don't know what this is. I don't know. Ooh, we have a sealed tin. This is the Jaden Yuki one. I can't remember what year this was. Like 2018, 2019, 2018. Okay, so 2018 Mega 10. That's pretty fun. Hey, I actually needed some more of these. We have some more, um, whatever these things are called, team bags. Very nice. Another deck of Vanguard. I'm going to become an expert. I'm telling you guys. Another figure, dude. This guy's gold, though. Who is this? Let me know in the comments who these guys are. Ah, we have some actual Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure decks. Hero Strike's actually really cool. I was actually looking for this one the other day. That's actually pretty nice. A lot of elemental hero stuff. I think Dark Law's in here, right? As a super, maybe? Or he might even be a common. I don't know. So that's a cool one. And then, of course, the Structure deck for the Sacred Beast. A little bit worse, I would say. This one's really, really cool, though. More characters. Wait. Is this the moose from One Piece? Don't know spoilers. I'm only on episode 300, okay? They look completely different now, all right? I, it's, how am I supposed to know? We got this guy. I don't know who that guy. He looks like a zombie, kind of. We have more common cards, all right? Another deck box. Let's see. I don't know. You know, sometimes they've been like foil. Sometimes they've not. This looks like 
partially foils. Let's pull out the foil part. Oh, there it is! The Ghost Rare, Majestic Red Dragon. Ooh, that is a pretty card. Okay, that I think that's a Ghost Rare. It could be wrong. You never know, but... Unless there's... I mean, I know it's a Ghost Rare. There could be another one. I mean, I don't think there is because he teased a Ghost Rare, so I figured that is the one. But that's a good find. Good find. I like it. There's more box. We're going to keep that Ghost Rare right there. That's like the perfect angle for it because it looks really nice. Wait, is this an Invoked deck? Wait a second. Wait a second. Or maybe it's just... Oh, there's some invoked stuff. Okay, it might not be a deck, but wait, maybe it is. Shadal invoked. This is a full deck, I think. <gasps> yes. Or at least a lot of a deck. Maybe it's just the support. Oh, yeah, it's not a full deck. That's still cool. That's all like the core, basically, that you need. That's pretty nice. What else we got in here? Blade Ninja, Hieratic Dragon, Diamond Wolf. Number. Whoa, that's a cool rarity. Like Gold Prismatic. That looks sick. All right, I've never seen that one. That's OCG. All right, very nice. Uh, Leviar the Sea Dragon Common. I wonder if that's worth anything. There's more Cyber Dragon stuff. Nice. We're definitely going to have to talk to him about this because, like, uh, 200 bucks might be a little bit too low for all this stuff. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to we're gonna have a discussion after this video. Okay, that's nice. Test Tiger, Bercentrix, Flame Wingman. Man. Uh, very cool. War Rocks. Whoa, that's, that's a good one. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's get through these because we have more to go. Like, there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's see if we can find anything insane. So, TG stuff, Valkyrie stuff. Just a ton of cards in this thing. It's crazy. Okay, Card Trooper. Dragonroid, Starving Venom. Wait, there's a, there's the old uh, Deep Sea Diva. Nice. I needed that a while back, but I found some. The Drillfish. The TG stuff. Yeah, lots of TG stuff. Very cool. The Yowie. Yowie! The uh, Demetto. All right. Oh, we have an entire display of Legendary Duelist Season 1. All right, that's cool. Oh, look, another booster box. Dimensional Guardians. This might be like the worst set ever. I I always see this set and I'm like, what is in this set? But I've never actually seen a booster box. This is actually pretty cool. This is probably one we keep sealed because it's like, it's not that interesting to open, but it's actually like kind of weird to see it as a sealed box. So I kind of like it. We have another box that is opened and it's going to be, okay, this looks like it is actually Dawn of Majesty stuff. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not. Is there... I think it's all commons in here. So, a lot of more commons. All right, nice. We're making a dent. There's still a few things left. Let's see what else we can find. We have a Barrel Dragon, Time Wizard of Tomorrow, Invoked Mechaba. Nice. Chimera Tech Rampage. More Chimera Tech stuff. Oh, yeah. The Fortress is nice. Eternity Dragon. Yeah, there's some good stuff in here for sure. Fright for Tiger. The Gaia. Oh, Absolute Zero. Ultra Rare. Cool. Hero's Revenge. That's a nice version of it for Edison format. I think I'm using Super Edge right now. Great Tornado, Brave Neos, and The Shiny. Here's Johnny. All right, all right. Dark Gaia, yeah. Deanne. Oh, that's a pretty version of Deanne. Okay, is that the uh, PRC one? Yeah, that's right. I think that's, yeah, that's in like one of those ones where it was only promos in the tin or something like that. It was kind of weird back then. Uh, what else we got? Eldritch the Bad Golden Lord. Very cool. And Rainbow Neos. That was worth a lot as a common until recently. We have another box here. Let's see what it can be. Wow, there is a ton of different stuff, like... So much different stuff in terms of, like, cards. Like, I guess this is trap. Like, I don't know how these are organized. But it's just, like, a bunch of different stuff. That's the one we always thought was a ghost I think this might just be Brothers of Legend. Is it? No, that's not Brothers of Legend. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what it is. The Gorgonic Guardian. That was cool in Duel Links. And, uh, ooh, the Re Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon. I might actually need that for my Mecha Machina deck. What else we got in there? We've got Hieratic Dragon. Norito, not Naruto, Norito. Here's something I've like never seen before. Okay, this looks to be mostly commons, but it's like a double deck box. That's pretty cool. Inside it is, yeah, more common stuff. Okay, pretty cool. Cyber Dragon Core is nice. All right, all right. Still a few more things before we're done because there is just a ton. So this one looks like mostly commons and rares. Let's see if anything crazy. Blackwing Shura as a super rare. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, Koga made it. He's not dueling in the Pokemon gym leader thing anymore, but now he's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. All right, that's funny. Okay, this is actually sick. More sleeves. So we have sleeves, and then we have unopened Dragon Shield sleeves, I think. That's nice. Okay, we can't complain about that. We got Matt. I mean, those cost $7. That's not cheap for sleeves. We got uh, gold. Very nice. And then a few other protector sleeves. That's actually really cool. We're getting down towards the end of this insanely massive box. Like, a lot of quantity for sure. I mean, there's some, been some good stuff as well, but the quantity has been a lot. There's a lot of cards in here. Is there anything crazy in these black wings? Okay, looks like black wings. Icarus attack. Yep, definitely black wings. There's a uh, Bleeze, Bleeze, Breeze, whatever his name is. Uh, okay, more black wings. The Fuma, cool. 
A lot of legendary six samurai stuff. That's pretty cool as well. Definitely nice and fun to play that stuff. Karibo, all right. Anything else? This is, just looks kind of random. Scrap Recycler, okay, nice. Snowplow, Hustle Russell. Air Raider, yeah, there's the uh, Machina Structure deck. I know that one. Oh, look at this deck box. Card Fight Vanguard, looks pretty cool. Is there anything? This looks like, oh, not Supply Squad. Get that out of here. Get it out of here. I can't even shuffle through these. They look like commons. Uh, Pseudo Space, Soul Charge is crazy if that ever comes back. Uh, anything else? Looks like more commons. So I think we're hitting most of the commons at the end. We'll see if there's anything else crazy in the last couple things. Ah, looky here. We have a Guardian Chimera. Which structure? Oh, Cyber Dark. Yeah, okay. That's the Cyber, that's the Cyber Dragon one. Okay, I was like, which one is this? Is that, wait, is that the one with Impermanent? Is that the one? I'm not sure. I can't really remember. Uh, this actually has some extra deck cards. Anima, nice. IP Mask Arena's in here. Okay, that's pretty good. Very, very good stuff, actually. And Black Sonic. Cool, that's actually not too bad. Face-to-facegames.com. Okay, I guess that's where that came from. More foils. More foils. Dark Magician. Back at it again. Another Korean Dark Magician. Nice. Uh, Infernity Archfiend. I'm like, there's so much stuff in here. I'm getting like kind of sweaty, like just going through all. <laughs> I'm, I'm per perspiring being under these lights for so long. Okay, uh, God cards. There's the Machina of Citadel, of course. The Structure Deck back at it again. What's the rest of this stuff? More Cyber Dark, more Blackwing. There's the Gales as Super Rares. Vayu is actually good for Edison. That's actually a pretty nice one. I think it's actually a little bit valuable. Cyber and Dragon, especially the Ulti. That's not the Ulti, though. Uh, Live Twins, those are cool. Tribe Brigade Kit's worth a little bit. I think Galaxy Soldier is a hero card, right? Or used with heroes. Another Magician's... The Magician's Rod came back. Start a Synchron. Hey, this is a cool card for Edison, too. Wow, there's a lot of really cool cards here at the end. Stratos Ultra, that's pretty good. A lot of cool cards just showing up at the end. Wow, two more deck boxes and then a couple of cubes worth. And then we have gone through everything for the most part. Solemn Morning Super Rare is nice. More warning, that's a common, there's a drowning, there's a royal decree. More warning, they're warning us, what are they warning us? Oh, the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, that's a nice super rare printing of it. Okay, ooh, Negate Attack is so pretty, it's nostalgic as well. A crush card, very nice. And the final deck box before we get into the cubes, and then we are completely through this entire crazy, just insane collection. I mean, definitely the deal of a lifetime for 200 bucks, that's for sure. Okay, and then more sleeves. Okay, cool. All right, this one appears to be commons unless there's something in the last part. Let's see. Which is, yeah, common. Just pull, yeah, okay, commons. And then the final cube. This one may be commons as well, but these are sleeves, so I'm guessing maybe not. All right, there is parallel world fusion. Okay, so there are some foils in here for sure. That's crystal beast stuff, flykick or razor laser. Gla black, a lot of black wing stuff in here. Big Simo fan over here. We got a... Cyber Dragons, Cyber Dark Impact, or Cyber Impact, or whatever his name is. Honest. Okay, more Cyber Dragon stuff. So Cyber Dragons and uh, Blackwing seem to be a fan favorite over here. Then the end, we have the Curry Bowl. Nice, the Curry Bow, the Curry Bee, the Curry Born, Curry Babylon, Curry Boo. Yeah, there's the Curry Bows. Okay. Downard Magician, Beatrice, um, Dollhouse. Okay, I interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Let's see, we got some Insectors. Okay, cool. All right, so pretty cool. Overall, a lot of awesome stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you thought about the collection. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Anuna Tai Show, JT Cho, and Anima the Hollow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.